Editing in Fortnite can be very overwhelming. You sometimes watch pros or you just watch some of your favorite players play and they're going 100 miles an hour and you don't know what's going on. Whether you're new to the game or you're still picking up the basics, this guide is for you. This is a beginner's guide to editing. My name is Oni and let's get right into the video. So I've just loaded into my own creative world here today to show you the basics of editing. Now I do recommend jumping into your own creative world also and giving this a go. If you do need the tutorial on how to make your own creative world that will give you like the best FPS, like look at my FPS at the top like that's like 500 400 and I'm recording as well and this PC isn't the most expensive PC in the world let me know and I'll show you guys that there's there's a lot to do with editing and a lot of people do editing really fast so it can be really really overwhelming I think the main thing to get across is you don't have to know every edit like there is many edits but you don't have to know all of them so I'm gonna place a couple of building blocks here today if you don't know the basics of building there's a video that explains that in the most simple terms possible and I'm gonna show you all of all of that stuff so I'm gonna place a bunch of builds here so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on and then I'll show you the edits. So first off, we're going to be starting off with ramps here today. Now ramps can be edited in many ways, but the most important ones are three different edits. The first edit you want to learn for ramps is the single edit in a line. So you want to click your edit button and you want to go to it. If you have edit on release, it edits faster and you don't have to confirm the edit, uh, which is a setting which is here. You should go into your normal game settings. You scroll down and then confirm edit on release. That means you don't have to press like additional buttons. So literally when I finish the edit and I let go, like it builds for me. I don't have to press anything else. So you wanna learn these basic ramps. So going either direction. It's very simple. You just move it in one line like this. And this is the only ones you really have to learn for ramps apart from reversing a ramps direction. So sometimes say if you're in a build fight and you're fighting someone and then you jump off the side and then you're under them and they're above you, you wanna sometimes rotate your ramp. Most players know this as just moving it from this side to this side for example, or moving it all the way across like that. And sometimes it stuffs up so they have to redo it. But there's actually a quicker way for it to go from one side to the other, which I actually learned a lot later on in my life because I was all self-taught when it came to building. And that is moving it from one side here diagonally to this little corner piece. So if you move it from the bottom middle part to a diagonal piece, facing opposite direction, it will flip around. Now this can work for any direction of the ramp. It doesn't have to just be frontwards and, and backwards. And it completely rotates the ramp. So rather than having to go from one side all the way to the other, like that, which is a lot more mouse movement or controller movement, all you have to do is move it to that little angle. Learning how to do this at a faster rate then and improving at it and learning to like make less mistakes is really, really beneficial and something that I really suggest learning. Another thing you wanna learn is you wanna learn how to reset your builds. So say if you build like this, a straight line and you wanna reset the build, you gotta learn how to fix this and like how to undo it. For me, I have scroll wheel reset on, which is basically, I don't have to press anything apart from scroll my wheel. And the way that I have that set up, if you do not have that set up yet, cause I know this is like an age old thing. So a lot of new players don't know about this, is essentially what you wanna do is you wanna go into your keyboard and mouse settings. You wanna go to your building settings and you wanna have two binds. In Fortnite, you can have two binds assigned to every single item. And for building or editing, should I say, this actually allows you to do scroll wheel to reset. So you have your normal edit bind, but then you also have scroll wheel down on your building edit. And then on your other bind for reset building edit, you have your normal bind, which is right click for me or scroll wheel down. So then all I have to do is scroll wheel down. So if something's like edited a weird way, and then it resets it and it's all done for me. So thank you for watching the video so far. I hope the tips are helping you out. If you haven't yet already, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave the video with a like rating and subscribe down below. I know people don't always have time to watch full videos, but they enjoy the videos and then they forget to do those things. So I really appreciate if you could do that. Only 10% of people who watch my videos are currently subbed. If you could really help me get to a thousand subs, I'd greatly appreciate it. If not, that's all right. But enough of that, back to the video. So those are the basic edits for ramps. There is other more fancy edits, but if you're really learning the basics, I don't suggest them. Like this one can be good for like certain things, say if you're like, you want to like peek someone, but that's like quite advanced. I wouldn't recommend that. Or say if someone's in your box and you want to confuse them and you want to like get behind them, what you can do is you can do it like that and then you reset it and you phase behind. But I really don't recommend that. Just get down pack these ones. Do it as simple as possible as you like. Do it as slow as you like as well. And eventually you end up picking up more speed. The more you do something, the more familiar it becomes and the easier it becomes. Next thing we're moving into is your wall edits. There is a multitude of number of wall edits in the game and it can get quite advanced, but you don't want to do anything like this. You don't want to be doing like this little edit. Like I'm pretty sure there's one that has like a door. Oh, I don't even know how to do the door one. Like that's just like, kind of like, yeah, look at this. <laughs> I've never seen someone use that in a game. But there is basic edits. So the basic edits you want to learn for a wall is you want to learn how to place a window like this. So it's just a simple one edit. And the reason why you'll be able to do this edit is so you can shoot people through it. So you don't want to stand out in the open, you want to be standing on the side. So depending on where you're standing is where you want to do your window edit. 
So you can do it to the side. You don't want to do it right in front of you because then you're just going to get shot more easily. So you just want to learn to click that button and then edit on release and then the build will go through. This is great for shooting shots or peeking people or if you're getting a bit more advanced into your building, this can be good for peace control. Say if someone's standing in front of you, you edit through here, you place a cone and then you can place walls through this because this is open up and then you full box someone like that. But that's a bit advanced but uh, just showing you some extra techniques. A bit similar to why I showed you the ramp one. Not the basics, not something you need to get down pat, but the main thing you want to learn is the window one. Now, other edits you want to learn for doing walls is you want to learn this one here, which is a bottom triangle edit. Now, this one's typically to run through. So if someone's chasing, you can go like this, you turn around, you reset your wall, and you can do this on either side. You want to kind of get very familiar in doing it on both sides. Because say, for example, if there's like a ramp here and you're used to like editing on the left side, like that's just gonna be like hard to go through because you have to crouch and stuff. You wanna be able to learn to do it on both sides. The other edit you wanna do for that is doing that for all of the top sections. So walls probably has the most amount of edits you wanna learn. And doing this for the top section is normally for like hitting a jump shot or something. Or even like if you're inside like a box like this, like you wanna be able to edit the top ones. So very similar to how you learn the ramp, it's just like practice these corners. So they're called triangles, you can call them Doritos. This is called a P and J edit for whatever reason, maybe it feels like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You wanna learn these basic ones and the window ones. Now, there is three more edits that you can learn for this. Basically, it's the same as the bottom corner one, but it's four. So when you do the four, you wanna be able to do that on both sides. Now this is for running through typically, uh, like faster. And say if you accidentally like go to do the triangle one and it does this, you don't wanna reset, you just wanna go to the other side and then undo it like with your scroll wheel to reset or whatever your reset button is on controller because if you mess up a build it's typically better to just like okay i'm going to use this build rather than try and change it up and do it all again something important to note as well for the window edits as well you can actually crouch through them and end up on the other side that's actually like another little technique it is a bit more scuffed to do so you can't like do it on angles like that it, it, it's very worthwhile knowing that you can fit through those windows like say if you come across like a naturally spawning window that looks big enough you can actually just place a build through and you can typically walk through those. You don't have to break the whole wall. Your other edits for learning for walls is the door edit. Now, I really don't recommend using this, but what I have found is most of the time when people do the door edit, they've messed up doing a triangle edit. So if you mess up doing a triangle edit and you do a door edit, don't worry, just open the door and then just reset it on the other side. Just use your door, man. Just like, don't worry about it, just use it. <laughs> use it to your advantage. Don't try to reset it and do the triangle game because that's going to take more time. For the ramps, just to reiterate, we've learned changing the directions on either side and then changing the ramp direction overall by moving it to the diagonal corners from the middle to diagonal corners. For the wall, we've learned the window edits and your triangle edits, which can be applied to any corner. And you can do this in like whatever like way you want to rotate the middle of your person's like editing. You don't have to do it in like that perfect little line because you are more likely to mess up and you can't do those four edits at the top there. So don't worry about like the angle that you do it. Whatever you need to do to get it done for yourself. And then also you can learn these four ones, not as necessary, it's just like a bigger version of this. Also, if you do a door, don't worry about that. You don't have to learn that. It's just to know what it is, okay? All right, next thing we wanna get down packed is editing floors. Now I've done the floors on height and I've done the floors on uh, low ground, so you can just get a good feel of both of those. Editing floors is very simple. You basically just like edit one panel. The more that you edit, the more that it opens up. Sometimes I actually find it very, very useful. For example, if you're inside a building, and like you want to do like a sneaky like little thing you can place one like that and sit at the top and people will run past and not see you or you can place it like that and then someone will run into a room and they'll try and build and like say if they ran through a door and the door's here and they try to build a roof they're like oh why can't i build it because they can't aren't actually see this for the most part all you want to do is learn the one or learn the two the two is like easier to run through that's why people learn it when you're on top of someone and you have height on them you want to learn this so then you can shoot at them after and basically like that and but also give yourself cover like i said before so you don't want to be standing right in the open you want to like place like that right also if you're inside your own box you want to be able to learn this so you can run through it now what some people do is some people like to do like the two like that and what some other people like to do is they like to do the two like that this one's really about making it your own. This is probably the easiest edit to learn out of all of them. So really don't worry too much about this. Just know what know what they are, know what they do, know like the special use cases like for hiding inside buildings. All right, moving into our last one here today, it is the triangle or the pyramid. Now the triangles and pyramids I neglected for a long amount of time and I really didn't learn until chapter two. You wanna get this edit down pat because the triangles are very versatile. So this can be used as a ramp. So if you're inside a box and someone pushes you, you can just like edit it upwards and you can get like height. So if you have like a, like a thing above you, 
and someone's like pushing this wall, you can just go like this and then you're like, you're up, right? Or if they start shooting at you, you can place it there. Another good reason of like why you really want to learn this is because you might be like, say if I'm inside this box here and I'm out of wood and say the enemy's building out of brick, for example, if the enemy takes this wall, what they're going to do next is they're going to place this cone. Now what this does, is this allows them to like have like an extra bit of piece control and it makes it harder for you inside. But say for example, if you place your cone on the inside to stop them from placing their cone, if they take this wall, right? If they're on the, the outside of the wall and they take the wall, what you can do is you can edit it up like this and then you've got cover. So you don't necessarily have to do it like that. So you can do the two, the two is good for ramps and then you can do the one. The one is good for cover. Now what this allows you to do is say if I was inside a box here, and they took this wall out of brick. I can edit it like this, this is cover, and then I edit out this way. And look at that. They can't hit me, even though they have that wall, and then I'm somewhere else already. So for cones, you wanna learn the two, which makes a ramp, and you wanna learn the one. Now there is other advanced techniques that you can do for this. Like I do a lot of stupid stuff with this. Like I go like this, and then I like, I jump and reset to phase through and shoot someone, which is really risky, and I die a lot doing it, but it's a lot of fun. There is like other like silly edits like this. Like sometimes when I'm playing like for fun, and I'm messing around, I'll just place like a billion of these because it's funny. But the main ones you want to learn for it is you want to learn the basics of editing the ramp upwards and then editing this so you can like exit a box. So if someone pushes you, you just like do, boop, cover, and then you're back on. And it makes it harder for them. There is a third edit here, which is like this. This is not really like, you can't really use this much. It's not very versatile. It's a bit like doing the wall with the door. It doesn't really make much sense. Uh, when it comes to doing this for a roof, say if someone's like above you or below you, I'll show you what the use cases are in a second. If someone's below you and you want to hit a shot on them, what you typically want to do is you want to edit, edit, and then shoot, but you don't want to stand out in the open. Now, this is a technique I developed. I didn't learn this from anyone. I don't know if anyone else does this. What I typically like to do is I like to edit one, which opens this up so I can go to my floor, and then I like to edit this one. Now, the reason I do this is this is like a lot of cover, and this confuses people because they see this edit through the edit and they're like oh i'm gonna shoot this person here but then i do this and look how hard that is look at all this extra cover here like this is like a little small angle man this is a really confusing angle so from the top you kind of just want to learn this one you you won't use this like if it if you're editing downwards you only use the two if you're editing upwards or you're trying to give yourself more cover you only do the single if there's someone below you in a box you just want to learn to do that from like every angle so you want to learn to do it from the right side the left side the back side essentially everywhere. Sometimes if you're in a build fight and someone's pushing you, say if they came out this box and they went to push me, then I could use this to get height again, right? But something I've been developing or using a lot of is just a single one. So normally when you use this to open up or to give yourself cover, you can actually do it in the inverse side to get height. So say if someone was below me and they're trying to like get height on me and they're trying to push me, what I can do here is a lot of the time people assume that you just like place this and you go up. But what I like to do, say if I was about to like edit on them and then they go out the backside and they're about to get height, I like to go like this and then like I'm on height again. So it's basically like doing a little rant, but because there's less like mouse movement or less controller movement and it makes it a bit easier. So if you can like learn that one, like that one's really big, but you have to like place like additional walls so it connects and stuff too. So those are all the basic edits in Fortnite. I am going to be doing a guide on how to apply like basic edits, like things you want to learn like 90s and like how to waterfall, like really, really like important foundations. But these are the basics of editing. So I'm going to show you basics of editing techniques in a future video. Just to reiterate everything that we've learned here today, I'm going to place a building of each type. You want to learn your rants, you want to learn your backwards, your forwards, and then you're changing directions for them and the simple way of changing directions, not the long ways. Your basic floor edits, typically the one or the two and in any direction. You wanna learn cover for a pyramid. You wanna learn cover frontwards for a pyramid or getting height with a pyramid and also doing height for a pyramid on the outside and then also using a pyramid to edit up and then to edit a floor under it. And then for walls, you wanna learn your windows at any angle. You wanna also learn your triangles at any corner of a wall. And then you can learn the fours, but not necessary. And just know what doors are. Don't learn the edit of doors, but if you stuff up, you, do, you accidentally do a door, like know to go through it and like close the edit. And learn to reset your edits. So in a video in the future, I will be showing you guys how to waterfall and how to 90, basics on how to apply editing techniques. This is the very basics of editing. You don't really want to learn more than what I just recapped for you there, because it's going to confuse you and it could stuff you up a fair bit. So if you guys did enjoy the video, or if you felt like the video helped you guys out a fair bit, I really appreciate it. If you could leave it with a like rating, comment down below and subscribe. 
Um, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't even have a thousand subscriptions. If PewDiePie's got a hundred million, why can't I have a million one day too? So please subscribe, help me realize that dream and that goal one day. I uh, really, really appreciate it. You can always undo the button in the future, so there's no reason not to. Thank you for watching. My name is Oni. I stream. I have got a Discord. I've got a Twitter. All the links down in the description below. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Goodbye.